Hey y'all, I had a short message on tonight. I'm not going to keep you long, and I know I normally give my intro with the uh, gods and goddesses and princesses and kings and queens and bitches and bitchettes. <laughs> I just did. But I'm coming on you, coming on you, coming to you tonight to say, do you think it's more important to spend time or to buy gifts? I know I hear all the time. If only I can get that time back with my youngest. Oh, I re- I love. Can you just stay this age? Can't you just stay this age? Oh, can can I can I get the time back with my children that I did not take seriously? That I did not cherish. When we don't spend time with the people that we say that we love, and love is deep. I had a phone call today, and excuse me if I jump, but I had a phone call today, and I think he was the very first person that could ever answer this for me. He said, I love you. I love you, sis. I said, that's really sweet. I said, I'm... But I don't know what love is, and I said I, I don't. I'm gonna refrain from saying it until I know what it is. I said, "What is love?" I asked him, and he said, "Love is unconditional." He said, "Love me, I never give up on you. I never give up on you, sis. You my baby. I never give up on you." I'm not going to lie, that made me a lot of emotional. Because he was the first one who could ever break it down in that way. And I'm not saying give up on our loved ones. But sometimes we have to give them time. As well as we have to take time. Because people, our family can take advantage of us sometimes. As we all know this. But... I just don't want us to get lost in material things. Some of us think like, oh, they they ask their children, what do you want? What do you want? They give them toys, give them toys, give them toys, but don't give them time and don't give them substance and don't give them a chance to know them. It starts when you're a child. Some parents that grow up, well, grow older or grow more ancient, And thinking like, damn, they don't call me. They don't do this. They don't do that. It starts when you're a child. That's when bonding starts. They say all the time, between the ages, well, inside of the womb. All the way until they turn seven years old. That is an imperable time. That is very important time. That's when they get everything that they, well, not everything, but majority of what they need. And gifts... And material things wasn't on the list. Bonding, getting a chance to know one another. Because after that, it becomes hard. When they become teenagers, they don't want anything to do with their parents sometimes. They want to explore the world from what we once known. But now we're walking into a new age and time. It might be a little different. But what I'm saying is, just something for you to think about before you lay your head or if you catch this while waking up is gifts more important if this if you knew this was your last day living on earth and you knew that this was their last day living on earth would you wish you gave them more gifts or would you wish that you got to know the person they were in the inside Okay. I hope I didn't keep you long. (laughs) I never want to keep you long. Have a prosperous evening. And I hope that we're looking deeply within ourselves. And not thinking that money is everything. Because I have something greater than money.
You can't get time back, but you can start from right now. You can start from right now. And it's going to be a challenge. But love is never giving up, according to what my brother said. And I felt that. That was true. Don't give up. Do not give up. And that's what we're all striving to do. Because I can go into the, oh, why we, why we like this anyway? I can go into all that. But the enemy tried to break us. Us as a whole. But don't give up. Keep going. I'd rather hold your hand than hold a box full of gifts. That really don't even mean nothing. You just getting it for me. I'd rather hug. And I'd rather cry with you. We cry together. Okay. Dos dos. Kiss kiss. Talk to y'all tomorrow.